intervened back again with a bit of morning action in Nightingale. A day off before I get back to day shifts again. No other choice. I've been slowly grinding up resources to build my house. Not 100% sure how we're doing on that. Did get a load of stone. I finished doing that kind of the foundation. We were trying to choose which wall box to build. I want to see if I can build two walls on top of each other, or if that doesn't have structural integrity. Because to me, the walls seem a little bit small. Wait, crap. Caroline sent me a link for build structure limit issues. And I meant to watch it, and I've forgotten to watch it. No. Oh well, we'll cross that bridge if it becomes a problem. Apparently there's a way to negate the structure limit to some degree. Right. Night time. That may be in realm. Let me just get to daytime so that I can actually see what we're doing here. I've also got my fancy new slingshot, which we've upgraded. I just need to find out how we get access to the magical bullets, because they do seem so much fun. Particularly there's AOE bullets and things. Go to short rest. I think we decided on probably Tudor. Possibly Tudor, but with the Pagoda upper floor. Which gives a bit of a weird red underneath. But maybe we can live with that. Let's have a quick look. How is this looking? The Canute's gone! No! We had a trapped Canute last time we were here. I was pretty sure it would disappear as soon as we loaded up. Probably means I should fill this floor in then. I wonder if I've got enough ceramic. Ah. Right. Now this is going to be my house. Quite a big house. Now the question is, how big do we have the house? Do I use the whole of this? I did fancy putting stairs down the middle, but come to think of it, it's quite awkward. So maybe we have stairs up the sides, join, then just have a halfway hall with a balcony. Maybe a grand fireplace up back. I was thinking to have an upper floor of portals, but I'm not sure if that will work. Also thinking of having an upper floor of farm. Don't know if that will work. I'm wondering if I want windows or if I want solid walls. First things first, can I put this on top? I can. I can. Interesting. That is interesting. Maybe we have a really tall indoor house space. That would fit with the breadth of it, isn't it? In which case I could have solid walls all the way around. Windows at the top. Upper floor. Now the upper floor doesn't seem to have structured integrity, so it is going to need some form of beams. What kind of beams are there? Go to pillar. Out of interest, what do you look like? Are you going to be a horrible colour? Kind of, but I like the dragon. Wait, do we have pagoda pillars? With Tudor house? Maybe. Do li I do like the dragon. Can I stack this? I can stack this. Interesting. Okay. Let me go away for now. And I also like this fireplace. Can I move you? I can move you. 
but it needs to be attached to something interesting. Because I think I'm going to have a grand double fireplace with the cooking setup. Now, do I like windows or not? I think definitely not at the bottom. So what is the build piece that isn't windows? Tudor, isn't it? I don't know why. It always comes unread. And then all the order is messed up. Tudor. So this is the only solid wall option. Lambert and beams. I can't remember how many beams we've made. Am I going to use the whole of this real estate? It's a big area. Or do we make a smaller footprint and have an outdoor section? Hey Diana, how are you doing? Just thinking about my house. Let's start big and then we can always make it sh shrinked up. I'm just going to go all the way around the outside just with solid wall and then extend it upwards. Which means I want to get rid of this crap, probably. Wait, door. We will want door at some point. Where do I want door? Actually, which... which Where's going to be front and where's going to be back? I should probably decide that. Naturally, I'm thinking this is front, but it doesn't have to be. Front overlooking the, the water? Front overlooking Relmic Transmuter? Front overlooking beach? It's probably a better view, isn't it? So maybe this is front? And this is back. Hmm. Also, I'm thinking if I can have a fireplace at the back, we might make that solid wall. Hmm. Let's get rid of these ones. Can I move this? I have to move this afterwards, isn't it? Shit. No! That's worst. I think I don't get all the resources back. Oh, I hate that. Damn it. I don't have enough beams. Just move this for now. Do I have any bad food on me? Got this stuff, let's eat this. Um I don't suppose I've got any spare beams, do I? Beams, beams, beams. Lumber. I might have to go shopping for lumber actually. Got bricks apparently. Right, let's put these bricks here. Carved stone, ceramic, random bits of paint. Pulse. Um, beams. Let's see if I've got any spare beams or any time about to make them. I think I probably need lumber. I might be out of lumber now. Damn it. Wait. Don't walk about my house with my crossbow. That one shots everything. Right, beams. Where would I put beams? Right, we're out of lumber. Brilliant. So I might have to go shopping. Do I have beams? Coating. 
Here's one alphabetical order now. We was foil in there. It looks like the amount of beams. Beams, was it just lumber? Lumber and straps. Do they still have straps? Straps. I mean, I can use up these straps. These are pretty good straps, though. Didn't I have a stack of a hundred? Did, did I spend them all? Have I left them outside? some straps. That's what I was looking for. And there is some lumber in here, actually. Which is too heavy to carry. Let's just move all of this into one box. Need the straps. Damn, son, this stuff is heavy. I can't quite remember why we've got the pigments. Can I move? They can move. Right, we need the lumber. Lumber. Right, let's go make some beams. I'm probably going to have to go shopping. We won't have enough lumber, will we? At least the lumber I can buy. Lumber. Beams. Autofill, maximum. Crap, I just thought of something. Stop it. Can I cancel this? How do I cancel? Cancel. If I play the lumberjack card, does it mean I get more beams? I don't know, but let me have a look. Realm cards. Lumber. Play this card to increase wood yield. Reduce the time but try to refine. Improve the quality. So it just reduces craft time, doesn't it? Which doesn't matter too much. Only takes a couple of minutes. Right. Whilst that's cooking, let's travel to the watch and go shopping for lumber. I'm also going to have a look at the essence traders and have a little eye of what we want to shop for next. I don't really have any essence, but it's... Could do a round of essence. Maybe we'll do a round of essence. Elizabeth the Trader, eh? Wait, have they changed names? I don't remember an Elizabeth. They've changed names, haven't they? Right, so I bought the Dauntless Cool tools before. I guess we want to get the rest of the Dauntless stuff, particularly... Oh my god, it's 1300 just for the damn watering can. This stuff is expensive. This unlocked four different things. This just locks one thing. Damn, son. I want the umbrella. And the lantern. I hope I've made the right choice, because there's also the mystics. What if these are better? They cost the same price. I'm wondering if it's just an aesthetic... Wait, a spyglass? There's no spyglass here. Why have you got a spyglass? It's not got a picture. Well, I'm going to have to have that. 
That's the mystic umbrella. Mystic watering can. I think probably it's just going to be aesthetical. And I've gone with the dauntless because I liked the, the look of this axe. So I guess we stick. Now, this dauntless axe pick. Why would I get a dauntless axe pick? Wouldn't mind the climbing picks. Wouldn't mind the fishing rod. Wouldn't mind the hammer. The only thing I don't want is the damn mole. Although maybe I could make that for my wench. Look at a nice umbrella as well. What do I want first? What do I use most? Probably the climbing picks. The umbrella. Probably the umbrella. I wonder if this gives better stats or does anything different or it's just an aesthetical item. That's so much dust. We get about 300 per watch. That's like five runs. Four and a half runs of the watch just to get dust to unlock one item. Damn, son. Tell you what, let's do a quick run of one. Can I, can I just go for it? I do have some metal ball bearings with me, don't I? Don't have much room. Whatever. I wonder if there's anyone here. Like, oh, there is some people here. Let's do the desert one. I don't know why. I'm liking the desert one more than the others, and I'm not 100% sure why that is. I must remember, at the end, I need to go shopping for lumber. I should really look at the other shops as well. There's also all the shops for the clothes, which would probably give me my biggest buff. But do I stick with tools for now? Do I try and get my full set of dauntless tools? It's going to take forever. It's really going to take forever. Just to get one takes forever. Is that because I'm playing solo? Would it be quicker in a group? Don't know. Not necessarily. Right. We have one bite to eat. Whoa! I don't have good bullets with me. I don't have AOE bullets. Wait. Is that the elite one? Let me out, you little shits. Oh god, I'm getting trapped. Okay. This is the one I want to kill, isn't it? I missed him. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. I want to kill the elite ones because I can use them. Oh, come back. The elite one. I don't 100% know that I need the elite one. This does give fabled stuff, but it's only tier 2. Right. It's got AOE stuff here. Yeah. Definitely that magic spell seems to be overpowered when leveled up, but it's just not my playstyle. Oh my. Somebody's been here. Oh, that's already complete. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Mainly I only want the boxes with the bullets. I definitely want the boxes with the bullets. That's not quite true. I would like the other boxes, but I don't have much space because I didn't prepare to come and do this. This is an activation event. I need to click the button to get the fight going. Level 263, damn son. Okay. Tell you what, that quake spell does so much AoE damage. And they've specked into it.
I don't even know what. I don't understand how they even get in touch by that. To be honest. Okay. Did you press it again? I do quite a lot of damage with this thing, actually. I don't even have the AOE bullets. It'd be nice if I could actually hit his head. I've got charm of ammunition, so I get to do a multiple shots occasionally, which is very overpowered. This is a good group. They're quite overpowered. This is in-game level stuff. Crap. There's a world where I should just spend a day doing this. The thing is, I can't even build everything that we're unlocking anyway at the moment. Look at them go, like whoever's... Somehow they kill them so quickly I can't even see what they're, how they're killing them. What is the fire that they're doing there? Wait, did I miss? Damn, son. Oh, it's the press the button one. Wait, is it the press the button one? Wait, did they manage to do it? Oh, this is one of them. I don't know which order this is. <gasps> I did it wrong. They'll hate me forever. Damn it. How'd you work out what the order is? You can't even see them all. There's definitely much less of an arc on this crossbow than the initial crossbow. Mm. Ah. This is quite an awkward event because basically you need to see all of the things and work out what order they are in. And every time someone does it wrong, you end up. Let me work out what order this one is. Was that it? Did they do it? Oh, they managed to do it. God, they're good. Somebody knows what they're doing. Basically, I have to run this four times just to unlock one of those elite items. And then I don't even have the resources to build them, probably. I should probably just focus on building the, the, the full set of those tools before I... I suppose I can do this every now and again. One here and there. Spread them out. Whoa! Where did he go? <gasps> Damn, son! That's what I thought. Wait, someone already unlocked it. Oh, you got to climb up there. I normally climb up the side. There's probably a better way to get inside. 
but he's doing that as well. So maybe this is the way. Agility event. So I wouldn't mind making the dauntless set of these climbing picks. No, I can't get inside. Why can I not go in? Oh god, I'm stuck. Please let me in. I wanted that box. Damn it. Right. Boss fight. I don't know where to go. I hate this place. This place I always get lost in. Who looks like they know what they're doing? This guy. Is this the way? Is this the way out? Or is this the way in? Hey Carl, how you doing? Wait, that was the way out. Oh crap. You're under the effects of Zopiclin. A heavy sedative. Designed to make people sleep hard. Wait, they've reached the portal already. I, I can't even find the door. Wait, that means they've already killed the boss. Oh, this is disgusting. There was some overpower guides there. They were like one-shotting everything. I'll get good bullets whilst I search for the door. Where the hell is the door? This room is a complete maze. That group knew exactly where they were, what they were doing, where they were going. I don't know where the door is. I've got the reward. That is not the door. I think this room always stumps me. I always can't find the door. I need to work out if it's always in the same place. Like, there's a guy. There's another noob like me. A level 178 noob. Although, what is my level? I'm probably higher level now. Please be going the right way. You the door. The door! Wait, isn't this the wrong door? It's the wrong door, isn't it? Yeah, it's the wrong door, James. I'm following you to the wrong damn door, and you're following me. Crap, the two noobs lost together. That has to be the wrong door, doesn't it? Where's the damn door? I vaguely remember it's like hidden in a place that you don't expect it. I don't know if it's always the same. Like this. There's not the dumb door. I don't know where to go. Last. Door. Surely. Easiest door of my whole entire life. The boss is long since killed. But I want all the essence. All the essence is at the bloody end. I wonder if that door's always in the same place. The thing is, I've already forgot where the door is. Wait, is that James? Did he really beat me? Am I really the last one? I'm the last one. Absolute last one. I wish I could see him. Confirm it's James. Maybe it's somebody else. James, where are you, my son? James, you beat me! Damn, son. I am literally the last one. Bloody hell, I suck at this game. I'm not sure what will happen if they if diagnosed with TMJ as I can't take anti-inflammatories or steroids. Why can't you take anti-inflammatories or steroids? Right, do I do another round or do we do we wait I've got no potions, I forgot to get potions, what an idiot. Okay, we're going home. Which means I'm going shopping. 
means I just want to check the other efforts. I'm sure they're changing names. Catherine. Oh, I still got this crap to unlock. I'm not planning to use this at the moment, so maybe not yet. Okay, so I do want to shop for Lambert. Let's just do the lumber shopping. The thing is, I need so much of this. I click a load of times, then we'll start dialing back home, and then I'll click a load more times. They really need to add a buy lots at once button, because this is obnoxiously annoying. But it's also easier than me chopping down a whole forest. And then processing it all. We could build one more of my dauntless tools. That's one thing we could do. Or I could go back to building my house. That's another thing we could do. Or I could grow more essence. That's another thing we could do. Oh, there's so much to do. I've got an idea how much I've bought. I don't think I've even clicked a hundred times yet. I only get one per click. Right, let's start dialing home. In the meantime, buy more longer lumber. Till we get teleported. How much reckon we'll have? I've got no clue. Some of it I need to split, make more beams with. <gasps> My backpack is full. Oh, disaster. Oh, no. That's not awkward. Ah, nice set of lumber. Is there something I can get rid of? We exit. Why can I not get rid of this? What? Oh, no, I've got a bug. Oh well. Yeah, I should have emptied my inventory before we headed out. Can I move? All right, I need some other boxes here. Okay, this needs to move. This needs to be inside the house. Oh god, this is awkward. Wench, where are you? Rachel, come upstairs, damn it. I need you. I can barely move. Okay, I need to move the estate. And it needs to have a box next to it. Wench, upstairs, damn it, woman. Like, I'm, I literally, I'm, I'm hobbling towards the box. Yeah, wench, 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 come, come, come. No. Come back, wench, wench! Oh god, she's terrible. Useless. Oh, come on, let. Oh my. We. Oh, I put. Oh, I put lumber here. Ah, wench. Oh god, she's got loads of stuff on her already. Right, can I move now? I can move now. I kind of need to go. Can you? Come right. First things first. Let's move this bloody thing. Can I just move this? Will it let me? Don't exactly know, but let's just put it in the middle. Or well, let me just put it by the boxes for now. Rachel, come on. I need you near the boxes. Right. I'll put. 200 here. Oh, 
this is just obnoxiously heavy. And that's gonna be for building with. Alright, let's go home and make some beams. Put everything else away, because I literally can't move. You were on steroids for so long, they caused a perforated bell. Oh no. Got entangled by adhesions. Yeah, it's always a tricky thing. It, I mean, I don't know the complexities of all your medical issues. But never say never. There's always a balance to be made. Risk benefits and things. If you end up needing steroids for something else, you'll, you'll have to consider it in the context of everything. Etched ingot. This was for lights and stuff, wasn't it? Let me just empty some crap, because I've got way too much crap, and I don't know what I'm doing with it all. I've got no stone. We spent all the stone. Did we really spend all the stone? I found so much stone yesterday. I'm probably going to need more stone. I don't know what I need stone for exactly, but I'm going to need it probably for something. I've got no wood either. Oh god, this is sad story. Right, give me my marbles back. So much crap. What's this? One piece of lumber. Labeled meat. Labeled bones. I've got some random paint here and cut gems for some reason. Cut gems should probably be in the gem box, let's be honest. Why have I got refined pigment? There must have been a reason. Was that for making paint, maybe? Put it back in here. Stone powder. Stone powder. I do want some more ceramic, so I guess... Let's make more ceramic with that. Is there anything else left here that I've crafted? Yes. Steel ingots. Okay, that looks like everything. Put those away as well. I've got jute thread for some reason. It must be from the boss. And we've got 11 stone. Wow! 11 stone! Woohoo! Amazing. One lumber. God. I've got a load of lumber outside. The paint should probably be outside. Ceramic should be outside. Right. Let's go finish building my bottom floor. So I'm saying this is going to be the back of the house. And we're saying that this is going to be the front of the house. And it's hailing. Of course it's hailing. Can I make this? Oh, the beams. I've got to get the beams. What happened to all the lumber? I thought I only put... Where's the rest of the lumber go? We what? I put some in the house. Didn't I have 400 lumber that we purchased? Why have I only got 200 lumber now? Wait, it was the straps I needed for beams as well. What have I done with the straps? Damn it. I'm losing where I've got all my stuff. Right, that's beams. I need more straps. Ah, oh, you bastards. Right, 
Whatever, I'm going to use these straps. Need more beams. I thought I had more lumber. Damn it. All that shopping. Right, I've got some beams. Let's let's just finish these walls. This is so much work. Beams. Now, I want a doorway out front. And also want a second floor. And then I want stairs up to the second floors. And then I'm going to need to build structural support. And I think I'm going to use that big, big dog door one, even though it's going to look a bit weird. I love the dragons. Let me finish doing this wall first of all. Basic wall. I could have doors on all the sides, so maybe I'll do that actually. Okay, so what, what door blocks do we have? We've got a door frame here. Looks like an, I can only have a singular door frame. There's not much flexibility with what you can do. Could have a triple door. And then probably I want a door. Actually, I don't know what I want. I might change this at the back anyway. I think I want to put the big a big fireplace around the back with the cooking set up. Right. So actually this might need to, how many walls is there? There's there's three walls here. So maybe I actually get rid of those ones and we change that to the sandstone one. And then maybe that becomes a backdoor entrance. Maybe the whole back is sandstone. Desert. Is that the one? Steve, Shack, Pagoda, Desert. Because there was an interesting wall it had. Solid plaster wall. Oh no, it needs stone powder. Are oh, you troll game? And then probably this will be. So I think I'm going to put stairs up the sides, both sides, to get up to the top and have an upper balcony or something. But I do want a back entrance of some sort. So what is this? Arch plaster. Something like that. What do I need? Carved stone, bricks, stone powder. These boxes need to come inside now. Oh god, I'm pressing the wrong thing. Oh god, this stupid spell. Damn it. Go away. I feel like I need the side door. Definitely need a side door. I don't know where to put it. Hey Anna, how you doing? Time to work on my house. Right. Stone powder. Not very much. Come on. Bricks. What else did we need? Carved stone. Carved stone. I need stone powder. Oh, you bastards. I think we're out of stone again. Like, literally, I think we're out of stone again. I farmed all that stone yesterday and I spent it all already. I was processing some stone powder. No, I wasn't. 
I was turning stupid into ceramic. I've got a minor amount of stone. I'm going to have to go for another stone run. Yeah. That's all I've got. 11 stone. Wait, is this stone powder? No. I can't believe us. Like, I've got so much stone yesterday. Damn, building houses are expensive. Who knew? Right. I then think I want to do another floor with windows and then only then put the floor in. Then I need support in the middle. The question is how much support do we need? And it's going to look really silly because I'm going to use the pagoda report, which looks red and stuff. But then we're going to have a red ceiling, so I don't think it will look that bad. I wonder how often I need to put the support. I should probably have a look at some of the desert support. I mean, the I did like the golden ones. I'm going to have to have a look at it. I need more carved stone. And we need more stone. Good morning, Mustro. Might have enough stone powder just for what we've just done. Wait, why am I not turning that into stone powder? I, I need to do another round of stone farming. Like, we just don't have enough. How is that just one stone powder? Oh, I only processed one. That's why I still have stone on me. Uh, I'm an idiot, that's fine. This isn't enough. Damn you, game! It's not enough! What do I need for this? It's literally just the stone powder. Oh, this finished. Do I like this? Maybe I'll use these as supports, but then we'll have the dragon supports tactically. Maybe we'll just use the dragon supports. I kind of like the dragon ones. They look very fancy. Let me do the second floor, because I think we've got the stuff for the second floor. So I think... We'll go with the window one. Which window? Beam lumber, less beam lumber. Want to know what this looks like. What are you, which way are you facing? Don't have lumber. I like that. This might be really stupid. But what I'm planning to do now is put that all the way there and only then put a ceiling and then build a floor on top. And then have big staircases along each side going up to the top. And then have an outdoor balcony. Which means maybe I don't want this here. I probably don't want this there, actually. I do want it around the sides. Let me just put it around the sides. Hmm. 
This might be the world's most stupidest house in the whole wide world. But okay, it's my house. The Caroline sent me a video link which I was supposed to watch before I started the stream and promptly forgot to watch. Oh, no, undo. Which is supposed to tell you how to avoid the build limit. At the moment I don't seem to be running into that, even though it seemed to be causing me an issue. I think I want this one gone, actually. Um. Why could I not put this stuff in? That's a map of beams again. Was I making beams? Make some more beams. I think I might be making beams. A few beams. Means I need more straps. Do I have any more straps? Let's just get them used up. These are good straps, but whatever. So I need to make more straps, really. What do I need for straps? Hide. What hide do I have in bulk? 100 hide. Straps. And that's all the all the beams I can make. Let's put those in. That looks a bit strange, not going to lie, but it, I, I guess it's okay. The hard part is going to be building the support and the floor. Right, so I want to make... What's it called? Go to upper floor. Which is going to look strange with red on it. This could be a tall, square, stupid house. What am I looking for? Pagoda, 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 pagoda. Pagoda. Upper floor. Oh god, it's going to need so much ceramic. I think this is what we want. I think it's going to not have structural integrity at some point. But also I need the staircase going up to it. So one question is what is, what is the staircase? Oh this does go actually. Ooh. Wait, does it not need structural support? It needs structural support in the middle. That's kind of interesting. Also, why are some orientated in different ways? Does that matter? I need to put the staircase down to work out how to... Okay, so firstly, which staircase are we using? You looked around the shit, didn't you? Oh. So that would be there, then I'd have to get rid of that. Let's see what it looks like. This was made out of gilded lamber. God, it's so bloody heavy. It's so bloody heavy. I think this staircase will really clash. But I want to see it. Paint. 
Are you seriously still not made? What, what else am I missing? Carved wood. Damn, it's fancy, but it really clashes. It looks very strange, doesn't it? But maybe this is okay with, when I have the dragon pillars. These ones. Is that facing the right way? I think it is. Ooh, wait. Do we have it on staircase each time? Is that going to be enough? Otherwise it has to be here. Why are they in different... Are they in different places? Actually, maybe that's okay. Paint... God, I need so much ceramic. These are made out of ceramic, damn it. Do I have any ceramic left? It's not enough. At least these got done. It's going to be a whole mix match of colours is the problem. Hmm. Firstly, this would have to go... Didn't let me jump. Damn it. Ceramic is basically stone. So I'm, I'm utterly limited by stone right now. Can't even let my creative juices flow. It does look... It does clash, doesn't it? Are there spiral staircases? I think there might be something. Not on all of them. Did we not see it under the Tudor? This one, but it looks kind of crap. Does it look crap? Maybe you're right. Maybe it should be a spi spiral staircase instead. Let's have a look, see what it looks like. Because I might be able to build that. Wait, are you telling me it doesn't connect? that one away for now. What do I need for this? Number. Are you telling me I can't connect this? Come on, this has got to be able to go up, surely. What? You can only do it for one floor. That's no good. I mean, I suppose I could have the, the lumber flat floor. Tudor flat floor. You connect. It doesn't even connect. It connects to this one. But it connects in the wrong bloody direction. I don't know, the snapping in this game is so weird. I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can connect another one up. Can I move you? No. I don't like it. The other option is 
This one. Come on, you're so finickety. What? Oh. Seriously, what do you need? Oh. That's a simple option. Does that look better than the 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 fancy one? Maybe. It, this looks weird. Like, what the hell is this? You think this one looks worse? I don't quite like the red is the main thing. Also the windows probably don't look good here, do they? Right, so I'm being blocked by stone and huge amounts of it. So I'm going to have to go do a big stone run again. I also want to put up those five places in. Can I still make those? Thinking to have two big fireplaces and then make the cooking set up around the fireplaces. It was Steve, wasn't it? Steve fireplace? No. What was it? Was it Pagoda Fireplace? I don't know where the fireplace is. Is it under s something else? Survival, storage, resting. Light? Is it under light? What's this? Mining lamp. Stay fireplace. This is the one. Brass ingots. Yeah, I'm thinking I have two of them here. So what do they need? Brass ingot, etched alloy, carved stone. I don't think we'll be able to do it. There's etched ingot, but... We're literally out of stone. We carved stone. This is my last carved stone. Is that enough? We're out brass ingots as well. Oh god, we're just out of resources. Constantly. Okay, we need to go farming. So I need stone. I need to make brass ingots. The brass ingots, we need zinc and copper. I think I've got zinc, but I think we're out of copper. Do you have three? Um, don't much zinc. So I need zinc and copper and stone. And where? Do, I've forgotten where you get copper from. Crap! Which biome was copper? Was it forest? Was it swamp? <laughs> Damn it! I don't know. What the hell am I doing? We can I still not build one? We need H down I ingot. I need one. I need one more brass ingot and one H two H down I ingot. Do I not have any? This is a sad story. I've got so many resources, but not the right ones. Sad, sad story. Okay, we're going to have to put the building on a back burner for a little bit and farm up some resources. Let's get to bed. Ah.
Alex the noob. Wait, why am I a noob? I missed that. Are we getting a No Man's Sky update today? I don't know. It's supposed to be coming soon, isn't it? Right. Right, before I do anything, let me get some bloody potions. Like, why the hell do I still not have potions? Let's use these ones up. Let's put everything else away, and let's prepare for an away trip, I guess. I might build one of my Dauntless tools. Wait, etched ingot. Oh, it needs etched alloy ingot. Oh, you bastards. I made a load of steel, didn't I? Didn't I make a load of st steel ingots? Wait, eh, no, that's not alloy. Where are all my steel ingots? I thought I made loads of them, didn't I? Really? Steel. Need to etch them. Right. Wait, are you crafting or not? Oh, I don't think it cra oh, stupid thing. Try again. Right, etched ingots. Cooking. Right, before I go, let me just have a think about if we were to build one of my dauntless tools. So we did try and make the knife and that went very wrong. Oh, you bastards. I don't have the right... Have I destroyed the, the damn augments that I need? Right, there they are. Right, so what would I rather? Would I rather... Wood axe or would I rather sickle? Get better wood or get better fibre? Let's go with the axe, first of all. So what do I need? I mean, I want to make it out of gold just to keep the colour the same. And I guess magic is the, the thing. I wonder if I've got enough gold. Am I doing this? Yeah, let's do this. Let's get this done. If I could do one tool per day, that would be good. Right, so I need... Oh, no, I can't do this because I just... I'm using using the bloody thing. Can I make another one of these things? Because I'll need it for the new house. What do I need for this? Etched iron ingot. Oh, you bastards. Wait, no, don't I have that? B shafts and a hammerhead. I'm a, oh, God, I need all of that stuff. Okay, never mind. Okay, we're not doing that then. We're going to go out farming. So, to go farming, I need stone, I need zinc, I need copper. I can't remember. I can't remember where copper is. Was it swamp or was it forest? Also, which essence do we need more? I need T2 essence more. So let's go to a Hibarium forest. Reset portal. Um, Hibarium forest. Extreme difficulty, so we maximize our essence. Open portal. I also probably want to take a Realmic Transmuter with me so I don't have to faff about. So Realmic Transmuter is... 
wire two wires wait I, let me put everything away first like what is all this crap beams bastards like, this needs to go in the box outside actually all of this needs to go in the box outside Why have I got iron ore here? Wait, where's the wench? Doesn't she have a load of ores on her, actually? Wench! Come! Why is she all the way outside here? God, she's got so much stuff. If I take this... Oh, gold, I need to smelt this. Actually, we need all this crap. I'm going to take this, and then I won't be able to move, but... I need it all. I need to put all this stuff away. Stone! She's got a hundred more stone on her. I literally can't move. I literally can't move. This is painful. This is the most painful day of my whole entire life. That box. I want that box. What have I done? Why am I doing this? Why don't I have patience? I should have waited for the winch to come home. Do I go to that box? No, there's a box inside. Oh, God! Is there a box with this window? Uh, box. Look at that box. I'm so close to it. I'm so close to the box. Oh, God, this is, so, this is one of the most painful experiences. Being overloaded. Is there a box here? Oh, box! Come on, come on. Wait, box. Thank God. So I actually want to put some of this ore into process. Wait, is there a minor realm card that buffs your ore? There is, isn't there? Can I move? I can move. Which minor realm card do I have at the moment? Sorry. Increased stone yield. That's not what we need. I need increased ore yield. That'll be... Forge, is it? Forge. Increase ore yield. Let's put a load of ores on to cook whilst we're away. Need the gold for making my tool. I must have a better smelter somewhere. Have I made the better smelter? Never seem to use it. Bet there's a better smelter that I've not made. Is there? I'm distracted again. Um, where will it be? Basic building. Stove, campfire, boiler. Wait, boiler? Is it boiler? Is that what you're called? No, you're called smelter. It's got to be a better smelter, isn't there? Simple smelter. Is that the only one? How have I not unlocked a better smelter? Like, simple. Breezer. That's the one, isn't it? And that's tier two. Wait, blacksmith heart. That's the upgraded smelter, isn't it? It's just called something different. Okay, that's what... Okay, that's what we were going to make anyway. Okay, never mind. I was just confused. Um... Now, is there stuff I can take upstairs? Let's just take this stuff upstairs. Put everything away. I've got so many silver ore. What do we do with all this silver ore? What do we do with all this silver ore? I mean, I, I need to process it, but... Wait, I've got 85 gold here! 
I didn't realize I got 85 gold. But the actual. Okay. I don't have gold warriors. Seventeen minutes. Forty nine minutes, right? There's enough wood to process all of that. How my etched ingots doing? That should be enough to at least build one of those fireplaces. Beautiful. It's a missing brass ingot. How's that look? Looks okay, doesn't it? So I'm going to put these halves, and then we're going to put stove, stove, stove. Three calcularian stoves. Chests. Chests. Food workshop. The back of the house. Seems okay. Right. So I don't have brass, which is one of the things we were going to go farm. Right, let's put everything else away. Gaudi ingots. Give them to me. Twenty-eight gold. I should be able to make at least one tool. Wait, why was I not building the tool? Because the hearth is in use. Stone. Stone powder. I can make stone powder. Stone powder. You cook. Right, everything else. Oh no! I, oh, you know. I'm gonna be. I've got all this stuff. I need to leave. Wait, why is it teleporting me outside? The estate's over there. Why did I get dropped off here? That's a bit strange, isn't it? Right, paint, paint, beam. Beam, carved wood, etched ingots, random ingot, lumber, rocks in case I need them, stone in case I need them. Oh. Okay. I've got some gold all left over for some reason. Let me just eat this. And eat this. I need this. I'm full again. Right. Let's prepare for this away trip. So I need stone. I need copper. I need zinc. In vast quantities. And essence. I need to put gems away. And iron ore. I need to process the silver and iron at some point. What can I do with the silver? There must be something I can do with bulk silver. Right. Is that enough bullets? Let me take some more bullets just in case. No, the winch has bullets. You got bullets? You got bullets. Okay, anything else I need to do? Are you finished yet? Oh, you finished. Let's put some ore into process here whilst we go away. Iron. Ingot. Autofill. Iron. So I want three of these in my new house. So you make three of these. I probably need to decide where these are actually going to be. I need to have a think how we're going to actually lay out all the augments and stuff. Oh god. Getting my head around that's going to be difficult. But I think we can go. Can we go? Let's just go. 
Right, stone, copper, zinc is the priority. We're going to a forest? I don't 100% know. I think copper might be in swamp, actually. Oh, God. I don't... How do I not know this already? I probably do know this. Right. Repair everything. We've got some food up. So this is extreme difficulty. Ah, oh, I forgot to bring the realmic transmuter again. Damn it. I knew there was something. Okay, so that means I want to do the Fate Tower. So let's head in the direction of Fate Tower. So I'm looking for, for stone and for ores, mainly. It looks like the desert's a better place for stone, to be honest. Are you really not a mineable stone? Seriously? Uh. I need to find what the, the, the ore is here. The other thing is, maybe the realm is too high level. How is it that I don't know how the ores work? I'm pretty sure... In low level, there's certain ores, and in high level, there's different ores. The problem is, I don't know which ores are where. It looks like there's pursuit here. We there'll be another high level one, which we don't know what it is yet. Ooh. The blue one is new, I think. I guess I take the pursuit. Seems to be what we prefer to make my rifles out of. Feels slightly crap that I've got this Anadia, but I don't know, the Anadia doesn't, doesn't seem as good. The Anadia basically gives more range damage, but not a huge amount more. It goes from 25% to 30%. But you lose, I think, 7.5% of critical damage. Like, surely that is not as good. Okay, so we might be getting the wrong stuff in this realm. Maybe this is the higher level realm. I needed to go to lower level stuff. Is Anna here? She had a table somewhere. I'm wondering if the table tells me which realm I need to go to. I'm going to get that blue one for the first time. See what that is. Right, go on then. What are you? Master Miner Complete. Area. Is that a real word? Arium. Okay. Screen share. Chat GPT. I need to know. Is that real? What is Arium? Arium is a company. <laughs> okay, so it probably isn't real then. What kind of ore is Arium? Okay, so it must be made up then. Interesting. Okay, no mind. Where is it? This one. Area. Melee damage. Range rating. What? Why is it an ore that does range rating and melee damage? What do you do with this stuff? Even if you want to make... The, the thing is, like, in some ways, the ores are nice that they colour your gear in different colours. But the problem is you're so dependent on the stats. I can't make, like, a rifle out of this crap. It's 
So what can I do with it? I, I guess I should take some so we have it. I don't need this stuff. Why am I doing this right now? That pursuit is the one thing that I got quite a lot of. Do need the stone. I don't understand. Like it, it's it's the highest level of mineral arium, but the stats aren't even that good. Like even for a melee build, even if you were to build I don't know, a mall out of it. The stats don't seem that good. And they're not synergistic. You've got range rating and melee damage and stealth. Like, what? Which begs the question, what is the purpose of it? What is it possibly used for? And the answer is I do not know. Is this something we could use it for just purely for aesthetical purposes? If I made one of these pickaxes out of this stuff, would it end up being blue? No Man's Sky update just dropped new space stations and ship building. Damn. Is there a trailer for it? If there's a trailer, we could have a look. Okay, Rachel, I kind of need you. You kill the piglet. I don't understand this. I don't understand why there's a, such a high level or with seemingly crap stats on. Like, this was so good. Range damage and crit damage. And this is the mid-tier resource. And this is the higher level one. I don't get it. Look how much pursuit we get as well. We seem to get a huge amount of pursuit. That's why I have so much. <laughs> I've got more pursuit than I've got bloody stone. And stone is what I need. No trailer or patch notes yet, okay. Damn, look at the spiders go. Right, slight problem, we might be in the wrong realm. What level is this realm? 120. I think we need to go to a realm that's less than 50. Which means I just can't play on extreme difficulty. Which means I need to go home really. Because I'm farming the wrong resource. I think I actually need to go to a low level swamp that's left than 50. So basically I need to put it onto easy difficulty. Like a pleb. Or I need to go to an abeyance realm. I don't even know if it's in an abeyance realm. Right. Why is it bringing me here when I've moved my estate inside? I don't get it. Well, let's cook up those. Wait, it's still not finished. Damn it. I definitely want to make another one of these. Etched iron ingots. Didn't I just make a load of iron ingots? It's still crafting. Oh my god, it takes forever. Bastards. You know what? Let's just switch and do the etched iron ones. But that's not enough. Okay, never mind. We'll do that later. Oh, I've got stone in here. My dumping box. Who knew? Give it to me. 30 gold ingots. 17 iron ingots. My iron ingots can stay in here. We're going to process those into etched iron. There's stone powder, which is going to become... 
ceramic. And the stone is going to become stone powder. As is the rest of the stone. Have I ever worked out if I can buy stone powder? The basic resource. I should probably check that. If I can, maybe that's what I should be buying. Right, so I need to dial a lower level realm. Mm. So I need to go to level Antiquarian. Antiquarian. Let's try Swamp. For some reason I think Swamp is copper. Doesn't tell me here, does it? Be nice if they told you what resources were here. That's too high level, so I, I can't be on extreme. Hard. We'll do it on hard. Antiquarian swamp, less than fifty. Let's do that. We we needed stone powder just by itself, didn't we? The house. Progressing. I do like this dragon. Right. Um. I'm going to make two of these hearths, so I've got three of them all together. But I can't make them yet. Shafts, metal tips. I might have some shafts and metal tips. Let's have a look if I've got any. I think some of them might be... Um... Handle. Metal tip. And shafts would be here. Shafts. So we need 20 etched iron ingots. I need hammerhead. Pretty sure I don't have hammerheads. Do I have enough iron ingots that I could etch them whilst we go away? Possibly. At least for one of them. Then I can double my production. So let's switch it to making etch ingots. It's seven minutes. And actually this other one could be making plain iron. other stuff away. I've now got 67 gold ingots. It should be enough to build at least a couple of those tools. Don't have any copper, which is what we need to go find. I had to process a load of this silver. What do I do with all this silver? Or I've got so much silver. It's actually interesting. Critical damage and magic. Is there a world where that could be better than range damage? In terms of we've got magical explosive bullets that crit instead of plain bullets that do huge damage. I might have to make another crossbow that's like fully all in magic. 
Let's see how it performs. Um, let's make some more ceramic. Put this ceramic into my house. I need, an, I need a, some more dumping boxes somewhere. I could probably move some more house boxes over to the house. Wait, how do I put this into the house? How's that look? Damn, son. My upper floor. Ooh, this looks interesting. Damn. That looks pretty cool, actually. Now, do I make the upper one that red exotic stuff that looks a bit strange? But that could be my, my upper bedroom, stroke portal room, stroke garden. I think I want to have like an outdoor balcony here. Wait, how'd that work? I could have a separate roof level here so the house has got a little lip to it and then we could put a garden along here Is it, would that be strange? slightly strange but also interesting what roof would I use? Use the same roof, I guess. It feels so strange to be mi mixing all the different blicks because they all they color clash a bit. Hmm. I wish you could paint them. You, let me just have a look at what it would look like if I were to put what's it called? Pagoda isn't it? Stop splitting them up Pagoda is it Pagoda? no it's Steve Steve is what I want Steve windowed wall, is that the one? Or Steve window extension. Let's see what this one looks like. I mean, I, I don't have all these resources. But let's just pretend I did. What does this stuff need? Gilded lumber. Carved wood. So I've got gilded lumber and carved wood. And I do have some shingles. I wonder if I've got enough. Gilded lumber. Carved wood. Let me let me put it in, please. Let me just put it in. Is this enough? Ooh. Gilded lumber, carved wood. That was a lot. We'll get it back if I don't like it. Shingles. Where have I got shingles? The shingles will probably be in my house somewhere. 
I mean, the good thing about that stuff is I've got some of it. That's a good advantage. Shingles. Would you be with bricks? No. We suggest I don't have any. But why don't I have any? I'm sure I made shingles at some point. I thought they also had a... Icon. How did you make shingles? Is it going to be stone powder again? Wood. We, it's wooden shingles. Oh God, does it make a difference? No, because they all craft the same thing. So I can make it out of wood. I've got some wood. A little bit. Make some shingles. I hope it doesn't make a difference. Hey, that's not shingles. Wait, does it need to be tier 2 or tier 3 for shingles? Shingles, there we go. Sixteen minutes? Damn, son. Wait, I need a hammerhead. Then that would be done. And then I could process more stuff. Okay, so how do I make a hammerhead? Wait, we don't want to make it out of it. Etched ingots. Let's just make a regular hammerhead. I wonder if I've got a hammerhead. Oh, wait. I've made it order. Where's H? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. F. Okay, I don't have any. Let's take some tin and get downstairs. I'll make a hammerhead so I can tell on my production. Did I make that? I don't think I did. I cancelled it. 20 seconds. I need two of them actually. Go another half. That's got wood on it. So what do I want to process in that half? Let's finish processing the iron, I guess. And seems useful. I don't feel like we're getting more ingots. Maybe that's just me. We did play the forge, didn't we? Forge. Increase ore yield. And decrease refinement. It just doesn't feel like it's actually doing that very much. Right, so it's just the etched iron ingots. Can I make any more? No. So I'm actually out of iron ingots, or do I have any upstairs? These are etched iron, so these could go in. I think I need is base ore because we need to combine it with copper to make brass. I've never need made titanium yet. And I've got a load of tin I could do. I guess let's process some of this silver ore. 
just to get it done. I wonder if I can combine the silver ore with anything. Bloody heavy, who knew? My beautiful, glorious house, it's crap. You're not doing anything yet, are you? You make a bunch of silver. Silver ingots. Cooking. You're making regular iron. Right, let's go to bed and let's go to the new realm. It's dying, I need to put away. Leftover shafts. Leftover stone powder. Leftover metal tips. Right, just a second, I've got a phone call I need to take. I'll be back in a tick. tick. Right, sorry about that. Right, so I want a Realmic Transmuter with me, so I want... Wire. Where's the damn wires? I think it's two wire. E ingots. Is this right? Five lumber. Might be messing this up. Please tell me I've got lumber. Oh, thank God. Can I build a realmic transmuter? Um. Yes. Right, we've got a Roman transmitter. And I'm beginning to wonder, what if I were to play a quarry card? God, it's... Oh, it's been so long, it... Undialed. If I play a quarry card, will I not farm more stone? Is that how it works? Quarry, quarry, quarry. Which one's quarry? Play this card to increase stone yield. That's what I need, isn't it? Like, I need loads of stone. Although, perhaps I should have... I wonder if there's one for ore yield. Increased ore yield. But is that all yield that I'm mining out in the open, or is that all yield that I'm processing? Maybe it's the stuff that I'm mining, so maybe we need to play the forge card and try and get more copper, or zinc, or whatever it is. Ooh, need more wood. I don't have any basic wood. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna burn premium wood. Alright, let's go. So I'm gonna play a forge card and see if it means we get more copper ore. Do 
don't get why this takes time when it's just been dialing the whole time. You'd think that would be your loading time sorted. Wait, it's a realm I've already been to. Does that matter? Slightly annoying. I should have reset it. Completed a load of this crap. That's annoying because I would do essence as well. I mean, primarily I'm here to farm all. Oh, do I go home and make a new one? I probably should. Damn it! Mistakes were made. I don't want to. I want to be able to get essence and stuff as we roam around because I need the essence as well. Oh well, mistakes. Slight mistakes. He says loads quickly. Let's try it. Resetting this. So to reset, I want antiquarian. I want... Do I want swamp? We're going to have to find out either way, and I want to reset it. Then open. Bambi! In my house! Bambi in my house. I don't know why I have such a fascination with killing the, the babies. I really don't. It's terrible, isn't it? Maybe I'm evil. Process more ingots. How does this have so little wood? I don't don't get it. Iron, it's stone. Do with making more it's dying actually all of them come on Back to eat. Don't really want to be carrying the ingots with me. And everything else here. Wait, wire, lumber, I need three tin. Three tin. Let's try again. So I'm going to play the Forge Remit card. Actually, no, I'm not going to play the Forge Remit card. We're going to find some copper ore, whatever it is. We're going to mine it and see how much we get. Then we're going to play the Forge card and see how much we get. And confirm if we get more or not. That's what we're going to do. I'm hoping this is copper here. Right, so. Brand fresh Spanky new realm. Mark the Fate Tower and vaguely head in that direction. So I need to find what the base level resources are in a low level realm. Plus farming all the stone. It does fill the desert. It's easier to get stone, I have to say. Now I need brass, so I need zinc and copper is one thing. I also need to know where to find it. Like, I literally don't know where to look. Just randomly walking. Hoping to spot something. I need to remember to play the realm card once I can test it. I 
wonder if I should be looking for... Oh, look, there's that mushroom plant. I should do these. We need... That's number three. So which is number one? I do need basic essence. So how much essence do I get when it's hard difficulty? This is tier one essence, isn't it? 23 tier one essence. And a soaring power. And there was that mushroom thing. Where was the mushroom thing? I just saw it, didn't I? I'm sure the mushroom tree is important for something or other. Don't know what yet, but... Even at such a high level to collect... I swear I saw it. Where's it gone? What the hell? Did I not see it? I'm also curious about that tree there, but I don't have a good axe yet, so... Oh, there it is. I knew I saw it somewhere. Now, for some reason, I can pick this stuff up. Or I could at the other place. Wait, is this the right one? Because it needs a pickaxe. No, it needs a sickle! Oh, it, it's some high level fiber, I guess. I don't have the sickle yet. Um, this is taking a while, isn't it? I, I don't actually know where to go to. It's a bit of a shame I don't have explosive bullets. I, I c can't build them yet. What? These are low level guys, so it's easy to kill them. Just takes me forever. Wait, I could use my... I could just use the pickaxe, isn't it? Everything's low level here. One shot everything with a pickaxe. I'm a bloody tank! Who knew? since whilst we're here. So mainly I'm looking for like ores, but I just don't see any. And rocks along the way. There's got to be something here, surely. Soaring's about to run out. We oars. There's at least gems there. Oh crap. I broke my ankle because my soaring ran out mid-jump. That's a bit disappointing. Right, so this is all. Wait, is it iron? No. Have I found iron? The schist stone. I think it's iron. Which I guess we've been spending, so... Oh, it's zinc. Wait, zinc we do need. There's not copper. Can I get copper here as well? I do want the schist stone. I guess I will take all of this crap. Is that iron? No, oh, that's zinc as well. So low level swamp definitely has zinc. So maybe low level forest has the copper. Can I one shot you with a pickaxe? Oh, I can. Nice. I mean, I don't really need to kill these guys though. Just 
trying to find bloody resources. I need to find like a cave or something that's got whatever the other resources. I need to know what's actually in this realm. What is this, for example? Might as well do the events as we wander by. Oh no, it's a big one. Do I do it anyway? Yeah, okay, Ellie's Melly's overpowered. In low level. It'll take me forever to kill these with my crossbow, unless I've got explosive bullets. And then it's pretty fun. Ooh. Actually, you might as well carry some crap. Oh no, I've got to offload her. Damn it. Oh well. Oh, we need to test there. Why is there sounds as though this is one of the memory ones? Um. I don't know. Whatever. The next time I find the zinc, we need to test how much we're getting and then put a transmuter down. Because I forgot. Of course. That's the direction of the Fade Tower. How is there so little ores? Am I just not, like, seeing them? Maybe swamps are just bad for farming. These ores? Definitely felt like the desert was easier to farm stone. Harpies, eh? Low level harpies. Yeah, no. Yeah. yeah, you're not that strong anymore, are you? God, even low level harpies actually hit fairly hard. Is there any reason I need to farm them? Maybe, I don't know. Wait, she's stone. You say that until you get hit. Wait, what was that in reference to? Oh, the melee. <laughs> Right, this stuff. Are you... You're stone. Everything's stone. I need to check. Oh, no. Wrong one. Beautiful. So all of this was just stone. Um, so oh, I need to find where copper is. I think copper might be in a different biome. Oh well, we'll farm zinc and stone for now. Wait, I just got iron ore. Damn it. So there's zinc and iron in low level swamp. I can actually tell what they, they look so similar. The 
So this must be iron. So how much do I get when it's umber? I got 12. I wonder if that's consistent. The 12 is already quite a lot. It's just not hugely available everywhere. Basically, so I need to look out for these gems because they're easy to spot. And then you get a load of stone and a load of either zinc or iron. There's probably a cave with some high level resource in somewhere. But where am I going? Towards Feta. That way. Zinc. Eight zinc. Wench, I need you. 14 zinc. It's really variable how much we're getting. How can I work out if the forge card gives us more? I guess I'm going to play the forge card now. So we're getting between 8 and let's say 16 at the moment. Load of nice stone. Nice stone. Right, so let me play the Realmic Transmuter. We'll play the forge card and see if we end up getting more. We've got the forge card blade, so next time we find some ores, let's see how much we get. I mean, this is gem, so I guess this doesn't count. Don't you dare. I'll kill your missus. That's what I thought. Bloody hippos. It was very strange being in low level realms. Mm. It's actually kind of difficult to spot the ores in this level. Like, the. There's so many rocks around that aren't ore. Hmm. Your son just got attacked by a psycho on his way home. What? Oh my god. Well, I'm glad he's okay, at least. Australia, eh? I'd make some comments, but damn. Sounds a bit scary. God, there's some crazy people out there, isn't there? Why can people not just be normal? Like normal-ish. Like, yeah, have your quirks. Why is it why is there some just mad people? I wonder if this is the best way to get stone. I mean maybe I shouldn't be bashing these little rocks and just focused on the the nice stone. I don't know. Where's my minerals? I played the forge card and now there's no ores anywhere. What do you reckon this little hut is? 
You have anything? Is there a bed here at least? Can I can I get rested for free? Bastards. Interior junk. Damn straight. Carved wood. I'll take it. Wait. Have I farmed enough that I could build a bed? I think we've got sticks. Don't have sticks. Damn it. Need five sticks. There could be some sticks here, isn't there? Sticks! Nice. Let's just get rested whilst we're here. And have a little bite to eat. The bad food, because I don't need good food. I should have probably bought more bad food with me. There's a tower here, I guess we do that. Is there any minerals? That's a nice stone, I can see. It's ages since I played that Realmic card, and we literally haven't found a mineral since then. What the hell? There's some minerals. Finally. Right, let's see how much we get if we get any substantially more or not. Ten. So who knows? Twenty-five nice then. I don't think that's the forge doing that though. I think it's just you get a variable amount. It looks like it's just zinc and iron there. Which is a slight problem because I, I need copper. I mean, I do need zinc as well. Is why I'm staying. Should I be getting these gems? I don't know. Gems makes glass. I don't know if we need bulk glass at all. She's running out of space. We're going to have to go home soon anyway. I forgot to offload her with the pursuit and stuff. Oh, what's this event? Okay, so this is one of these memory ones. Can I be bothered to do this? I do need the essence, is the only thing. There's usually like five or s seven. No bloody hidden. How am I going to work out? I'll take the stone. Right, it's reset. Can I? This is quite an obnoxious event, actually. One. Two. Three. So that's number three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. It's just not worth it. Uh, it's going to take me too long. I'll have to see everyone and then remember. Can't be bothered for this. No. I, uh, I can't be bothered. Can't be bothered. I 
had to be making stone and ceramic and building bricks and shingles. I guess I could quickly do the tower just for the essence. We've managed to get quite a bit of stone at least. 14 zinc. I'm not sure this forge card has made much of a difference. Which is a bit surprising. It does say you get more ore. But if you do, it's like... Item is breaking. <gasps> Repair. Let's keep heading. I'll, I'll, I'll get this event done and then probably head home and offload. Process the stone. And basically we need to go to probably forest and see if... I need to find where we do get copper. Anna, where do we get copper? Do you know? Which biome? Let's do this one. This one will be easy. Blue levels. I suppose you could speed run a load of these events at low levels just to grind up some of the essence. I wasn't so focused on mining stone at the moment. If I had the ability to craft these fire marbles, this would be so easy with my crossbow. But I didn't. Wait, what the hell is that? Why did these guys look so big? I'm playing melee and I'm up close. I, I never normally get this close. See, I'm playing on hard, so I only get 23 essence. It's not even that much. But every little bit counts, I guess. I forget about this knife leap because I don't normally fight with a knife, which is a bit of a shame. It's actually pretty overpowered. That's why Anne is so swift and nimble. She's leaping everywhere. The only slight problem is I don't have stamina food. Let's so eat some stamina food. This fight. Immune? Yeah, overpowered in low level. Twenty-three essence again. It's not even that much essence, to be honest. I don't know if I need to be doing this really. Like, is because I'm probably leaving this realm and not coming back. I'm lost. But I guess I get my free essence. Am I going back the way we came? Ouch. It's a good job these things don't hurt me. I just sit and tank them. Like a god gamer. Okay, it's beginning to hurt a little bit. back-to-back -back mazes for some reason. I don't quite know why they made the decision to make the materials so dark. But what's the benefit of that? It feels like they could light these places up a bit better. Or at least sometimes 
I feel like it doesn't always need to be dark. Let me have some light. Yeah. Nice food the pad, apparently. Low level knife. It's not even my best knife. Right. 92 essence. Okay, we got more essence then. That's not bad, actually. So, is there anything else I want to do whilst I'm here? I could nip to the essence trader and buy stuff before we go home, I guess. More lumber. Over that way. Seems okay. You can't see where the baddies are. What do you mean? Are you talking about game or are you talking about your son's ordeal? Okay, so the biggest fail of this farm there was no copper, and I desperately need copper. So I think we need to do the same again, but go to forest, and hopefully... The forest is tin, but maybe there's tin and copper. Maybe that's what it is. Knife is overpowered. Who knew? Wench! Oh, it's Ludvini. Wait, there isn't any other quest that you do, is there? There's nothing here. Never mind. Wait, are you not Essence Trade? Oh, Essence Trade is over here. Ah. We found Ludvini randomly. Where's all the damn ores? I need more zinc and... Nice stone. There's like literally nothing. Not disappointing at all. It's actually difficult to grind this stuff up. Why is there little stumps around this tree? There's literally no ores. Oh well. Right, so what do I want? Probably just lumber. Let's just buy some and then we can... Wait, can we get stone powder? And get stone block. No, there's no stone powder. Okay, I'll buy some lumber and then we'll teleport home. But where is lumber? Keep buying lumber. So I can build my house. One piece of lumber at a time. It's mainly the ceramic, but I've got a load of stone now. We can make some ceramic once we get home. Process more ores. And then I need to go to a forest realm and try and get some copper. So I can make brass. Travel to respite. Buy more lumber. Right. You answer my question. 
Oh, the dark. So you can't see where the berries are. I I get it. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like that that can be an occasional thing, but it doesn't feel like it needs to be like that all the time. I like particularly like the maze. Like that, that that could be a maze with good lighting. It doesn't need to be a maze with bad lighting. There's no enemies there anyway. We're getting lots of Lambert whilst we're waiting to teleport home. It's not bad, actually. I'll get more Lambert than I realised. My essence counts are beginning to look a bit nice again. Well, apart from tier 3. I need 1300 essence to unlock either the lantern or the umbrella or the... What was the other thing that was useful? <laughs> Climbing picks. What what would I rather unlock first? Climbing picks. Elite. Umbrella. Or elite. Lantern. Probably use the umbrella most. Just because you need it. You don't really see it. Right, can I move? Why does it keep teleporting me here when my, my bloody thing's inside? I don't get it. This is annoying. I'm being teleported outside of my house. Despite my respite being in the middle of my house. I literally can't move. Come on, please, 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 please. Let me get the number. Right now I'm teleporting to the wrong house. I need to bring some more boxes across. So that when we teleport here, I can get back home with all the stuff. I literally can't move. I don't have spare box here. I can bring all the golden boxes across. Oh god, this is so painful. Amber. Amber can go in here. That's the main reason I can't move. Can I move? I right, move. So I want to bring some of these boxes across. So we've got some spare boxes and a bit of space. As we build my house, all of these golden ones can go. I don't have that many anyway. So move them one at a time. This is why I built this house here, just so it's close to the old house, so I can actually move everything. I'm going to put a box in that teleport spot, just because I don't know why it keeps teleporting me there. ingots shit damn it I, I transferred it the wrong way oh well you know what's annoying is that uh, it's the realmic transmuter every time I end up putting it away Move this one across as well. I thought I had more golden boxes. Hello, Bambi. Right, whilst I'm here, can I fill anything in? What was I missing from these things? Ceramic and shingles. We made the shingles though, didn't we? Let, let's put some ceramic on to cook. Because we've got a load of stone now. And I need to make a load of stone powder. Wench, I need you. Come here, wench. I could probably move this to the new house. Probably want this in the new house at some point, somewhere. Don't know where. Definitely don't want it in the old house. Wench, I need you. She's so annoying. I need to offload all this stuff from me, but I can't carry it all. Oh god, this is painful. This is this is too painful. I can't do this. 
Rachel, can you come home with me, please? Pretty, pretty please. Come to bed, guys. Let's go to bed. Only three likes showing. People are lazy these days, aren't they? They're too used to my stellar content. They're used to having me on in the background. I do feel that the Nightingale's not been as popular. But I'm enjoying playing it. And I either stream it or I play it offline and don't stream. So between those two options, I guess the people that do like to watch would rather I stream it than not. But Rachel, can you come here? Like, I, I really need all, I need to offload all this crap. Where is she? Woman, come to bed. Really? Why is she outside? For God's sake, woman. Right, I'm going to take a basket with me. Come here, you wench. You need everything. Take all. You can have your pickaxe back. That's my rifle. Wait, what? Wait, why is my rifle here and not in my... I'm confused. Right. Stone. Stone is bloody heavy. There's a nice lot of stone. Good process this crap. Can I move? I still can't move. The suit is also heavy. As is zinc. As is iron. Right, so why is my rifle... Why did my rifle jump into my inventory all of a sudden? I don't know. I don't know my rifle. Right. I need to process all this stone. Stone powder. Can't wait to move house and have this all organized and be such an efficient system. But I refuse to make it efficient now until I built my new house. So I'm inefficient gamer for the time being. Put everything in the wrong place. Also, I'm gonna have high level ones crafted there. Not I'm not gonna have any crap low level ones. Forget that crap. Right. And did I get shingles yet? 52 shingles. Right, let's go put those into the house. I don't even know if I want that upper floor yet. I'm pretty sure it's going to look terrible from a colour perspective. But it is the upper bedroom. It would be nice to have some kind of... Seriously? Can't fit in the house. Why not? Why can I not fit in my own house? What was that all about? How bad does this look? I know Caroline hates this one. Does it look really bad from here? Does it look really bad from outside? I can tell. It's not so bad. It's not it's not like hideously bad. I need to change the Realmic card. What Realmic card gives us a nice blue sky? Um, Lumber Mill? Lumber Mill looked kind of good, didn't it? No, green tint, no. What's the best looking one? Tavern, what do you look like? The season is summer. Let's try that. I don't know I've ever played that one before. You're glad I'm streaming it. Yeah, I mean... Blue sky. It's a bit dark. I mean, I'm enjoying playing it. And there's so much to do in it. Which is, I do like. 
I do like that it takes time to do stuff because it keeps the, it gives the game longevity. But I can understand that people who are not into it, I, I'm lost constantly. So people who don't aren't even playing must be even more lost. Do I like this? I'm not sure. The positive side is I've got the building bricks. The other positive side is it does give me different aesthetic up in this level. I can actually put this in now because we've got the floor. The amount of ceramic, which is what partly what we're cooking. I am wondering about making this a lower level and maybe putting a garden here. Outside a balcony. Let's process some more of the stone. Oh crap, where did I put the stone box? Stone. Stone. Turns into ceramic. Ah, where did I put the stone box? No. What? Have, oh no. What have I done with it? Is it you? Oh, thank God. Right, let's put some more ores on to process. So I need more of the iron ingots. Is that what I got from this? Ah, perfect. We have another half. And some wooden bundles. And some plant fiber. And some more plant fiber. Right, let's process some of this crap. I can process three batches all at once, like a god gamer. Silver ingots, I don't actually know why we need this, but I'm gonna have them. Is there any reason I need base silver ore? What if I do? I don't know. Let's process this really more for the first time. What's this? Silver ingots. The rest of these. 40 minutes? Oh god, because I've changed the realm to summer. I guess it doesn't matter because I'm not going to be here. Um. Stone. Is there more stone? Make some more stone powder. And make some more stone powder. I should really move these tables next to each other, shouldn't I? I refuse until I build my new house. I want my new house to feel so overpowered and efficient. I have to keep enduring my poorly laid out initial house. Let's put this ceramic into the house. It doesn't look too bad actually. I mean it does look strange. The, the colours are all over the place. But I mean... What can you do? Still not enough. Right, so the other thing is, I could start thinking about lighting. The other thing is, do I want stairs on both sides? Stairs on one side is probably enough. Gives me more space, doesn't it? Now what I do want is front wall coming over here. So the question is, which front wall? Would it look really strange if we did the desert one? I wish I could actually see it. What is this one? Pagoda. This looks kind of interesting. I wonder how bad this would look. Oh god, don't tell me don't tell me I can't put it here. Seriously? Oh you bastards. Really? Can't put it here. Yeah, I can put it here apparently. Shrink 
Did it go there? Am I tripping? Why can I not put it across? So if I put it here, here, and then take this one away, are you telling me this doesn't go? Oh, maybe it does. I'm actually curious what that looks like. What do I need? Gilded lumber paint. 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 Gilded lumber. Wait, really? Ceramic, carved wood, carved wood. I see we kind of like that. That kind of goes, that, that's nice actually. But can I somehow put it out front as well? I want this here. Can I really not do that? I'm going to have to have other posts here and do it. How stupid would that look? Or will that actually look good? Please, please, pretty please. Don't tell me you don't have structural integrity. I need to support him right in the corner or something. That's a bit annoying. Can I use one of the other support beams? What other support beams are there? Stave pillar. that work? That would work. Might look a bit strange there. Okay, so why can I not place this? Do what? Might have building bits? Why can't I place this, place this? Don't understand. Don't do this to me, game. Ah! Why? Why is it not letting me place stuff over here? Why is it not let me play stuff anywhere? It doesn't say I'm at the structure limit. I don't understand. Both paint, 20 carved wood. I don't have enough paint. Paint and ceramic to finish it off. I don't understand why it's not let me build. It must be at the limit then, but this is just stupid. Why is it not let me build anything? It doesn't say I'm at the limit. Three hundred at three hundred. I'm at the limit. Bugger. What do I do? Wait, Caroline put a video down. Teach me what to do when I'm at the limit. I guess we watch that video. Maybe put some more ceramic on to cook. 
Oh god. What the hell? I'm being attacked by a deer. Um more stone powder. More ceramic. That's wood, that's ingots, that's all to process, this one, stem, make some more powder, need to remember how to make paint, I'm slightly worried now, I've hit the limit and I don't know how to fix it, but apparently there is a way. So I need to find out what the way is. Is it bad if I watch somebody else's YouTube video on stream? Am I allowed to do that? Possibly not, but like, I don't even make money. So like, I can't be demonetized if I don't make money. That's right, isn't it? One of these things are still processing. These things take forever. Give me some wood. I need to get more wood. I wish I could burn this this stuff, but it just doesn't last for very long. I've got so much of it though. I should probably play the forge card process this a bit more efficiently. Basically, you build your house in two halves touching but not connected. But I need to connect it. Now, what I don't know is it. Is this build limit including my stone house? If I were to take my stone house down. How do I see? Oh crap, that was a potion. It's saying like 217 out of 350, so why is it not letting me build? Pagoda. Is it because, ah. Solid wall, 300 out of 300. <coughs> this is stupid. I can't split this house in half though, can I? Oh no! My build, is it really scuppered? I don't know how to do this. They look and feel connected. So how do I do it now? Like, what do I do to, to do that from this position? Did I need to have planned from that from the start? Oi. That's what I thought. Uh... This is depressing, actually. Watch the video. Yeah, we'll probably watch the video. Um, let's do that now. Is that true? Now, let me work out how to make paint. Make paint. And then whilst paint is cooking, we can watch video. Which one made paint? Straps. Plus lambda equals beams. The beams are being made. Oh, I spent all the lumber. Damn.
So there's the Arium ingot for the first time. I don't get the point of this though. Like the stats are so... Now why do you have range rating and melee damage on the same block? I just don't get it. It's like it's crap. Unless it gives some really cool colour or something. Is there any reason I need tin ore by itself? Probably process the rest of this gold. Right, gold is cooking. Right, paint is probably on the mortar station and... Is that true? Are you paint? Paint. Oh, you bastard. Stone powder again? Stone powder? Didn't I just spend all the stone powder? Oh, no. Wait, do I have stone powder? Oh, stone powder. Oh, thank God. I've got some stone powder. Oh, thank God. Refined pigment. Do I have any of that? Refined pigment. Let's make a little paint. God, it takes forever. Why does it take so long? I've got loads of straps left over. I've got so much junk. Why is this... Have you finished crafting? I think this is finished crafting. Hmm. Oh, I don't want to do that. Let's process the rest of the silver. Can I make extra ingot out of silver ore? No. I need to make the ingots first. Right, they're making. These are collected. Let's take these ores away. stuff away. I need to sort out the boxes. I've got different types of ingots in different places for no particular reason at the moment. Put these straps away. Is this all the stone I've got left? We, we farmed all that stone and this is it. It's, it's, it's depressing. But we need it for ceramic and paint. Right. Ceramic, let's go put that in the house. Oh god, I, I feel slightly depressed at the moment. I might be at the build limit. I don't know if I can fix it so I can extend it. But let's see if Caroline's video helps. What am I missing? Is it just paint? Just paint. But I can't put any more build bits down. And this was just brass, but we don't have any brass. I do want to take some of this house down and just see if it lets me build more bricks at the other house. What else can I safely take down? Like this here. Give me my stone back. 
So that's a few bricks. So surely that should mean if it's connected, I can build another piece. Question mark, question mark. So if I copy this. Yes, yeah, let no, it's not letting me put it in. It still doesn't let me put it in, so it's not connected. It'll be quiet in here because the new No Man's Sky update just dropped. That's true. I haven't I don't even know what they're doing on it. Stone powder. Let's see if there's enough paint that I can at least finish what we've got so far. I think that's just enough actually. Ooh. Wait for Alex to move one wrong block. I did think about it for a second. I think my house is scuppered. I don't know if I can salvage this. Right. There's as much as I've got. It's actually not too bad. I mean, I know it's a bit strange, but... Problem is, I can't build anymore. So... Let's have a quick look. I'm going to share screen. Wait, I've already shared screen. So I'm going to go to Discord. And bring it out so you guys can see. And we're going to go to my Discord. To Nightingale? Or is it in general? General tells us there's all the No Man's Sky that's been released. Nightingale. Caroline's video. Let's have a look. How do we build massive structures? I'd like to start this video off with a bit of a riddle for you. Okay, why is it so low quality? Can my... Can I really not handle this? Bugger. Where's my internet so I'd bad? I'd like to start this video off with a bit of a riddle for you. How many structures do you think are in this base? It could easily be one single structure, but then how would we place so many walls? It could also be five structures, but then how did we line everything up? What's he talking sure, about? Sure, we could have eyeballed it, but I'll tell you here. This is actually only two structures the towers, and the core. Today, I'm going to show you how to build like this, exceeding the 300 structure cap without any bugs, glitches, or exploits, and expanding your simple starter home to a massive mega base. So what's going on everyone? My name's Tenebris and welcome back to Nightingale, where we'll be discussing how to build on a larger scale. I like his this pink expands rifle. This building from what can feel like a kind of limiting system to an almost unlimited potential. We'll go over how to combine foundations to expand your base location, how to build interlinked yet de-established foundations, and lastly, we'll go over some examples of how large scale this building system really is. First, let's look at combining foundations to expand your base area. When you build a Nightingale, you have a couple caps to pay attention to. First is the structure cap. You can place down 300 pieces to your base as a maximum. We then can have 350 furniture pieces and lastly 100 Ooh, buildings furniture. total. Ooh. When you need to expand beyond 300 pieces for a build, which for example is about the size of this tower or oriental castle, all you need to do is place a foundation nearby, line it up, and continue for the new structure. Foundations in the game all overlay naturally when placing, so the closer you can get to this overlay, the more in line your new foundations will be with your previous structure. There are a couple ways I've figured out to align your foundations. One method is by using the corner of your previous foundation. This is a fast and easy method when you don't need things to line up perfectly, say when you're adding an additional structure to a previous one, like these towers for the central courtyard. The next method is for if you want things to be as aligned as possible. You'll take your current foundation and extend it by one. Then 
place a crude portal on the very edge of that foundation, and then delete the foundation below it. After that, take your new foundation and use the portal to line up your new continuation of foundation. And with that, you have just increased your build size from 300 to 600 with just a few simple steps. Now, for the crazy part. You could do this a hundred times. With just some simple maths, that means if we were only placing foundations, we could have a continuous area of 30,000 foundations. Now, there's a bit of a caveat here, in that when you spawn into a realm, some of the building cap will be taken up by pre-made structures. But really, who's going to go and place 30,000 building pieces anyway? It's just a ridiculous upper cap to have. So now let's talk about how to build what I'm calling de-established foundations, where an established foundation would all be one solid piece for a structure. A de-established foundation is when you break up the building cap of 300 to two or more structures. This could be useful for a bunch of things, like keeping your building limit under control so you don't reach the 100 building limit, or for symmetry. As an right, example, I... we have this build's I kind of understand, but let's have a quick look and see if we can actually... So shouldn't that mean if I just put one foundation nearby, I get more build pieces? Um, Got all these foundations here. Isn't it enough just to do this? Can I build this? Does that add my build pieces here? How do I know? Got on the wrong side is one problem. Okay, so that didn't work. So how do I do this? I, I don't understand how I, how, how I And if I was starting from the beginning, it means I need to make the foundation not fully touch. How do I add it on now? Does it need to like... I don't know what I'm doing. Do I need to build on this and then connect it to the house? Need to plan it from the start. No! <laughs> That's stupid. Why have they got such a small build limit? Like, this house is big, but it's not that big. Still 300 out of 300. Now what if I were to somehow build on this and then connect it to this? Would, it, would that then give me extra build pieces? Let's try that. Just out of interest. What can I build for cheap? Wood. Do I have wood? I, I literally don't have wood and stone. Like this is just... I just want to connect the two with something. Fruit. 
a literally don't have wood. Help! I need to get some wood. Right, I just want to... Can I just get it so it touches the other thing and see if it gives me extra build pieces? It doesn't let me do it. So why does that not let me put something in? It doesn't let me touch the other place. Deconstruct and reconstruct part of your build, but what do I re what do I disconstruct? I'm thinking one of the foundation pieces, but then how do I So let's say I take this away. The whole stone comes. And then let's say I, I manually place the foundation back in. But I, I can't put it there without it snapping on. So let's say I, I place it here, and then place it here. Ooh, that might work. And now I'm missing Lambert and Bricks, which I may have. Please work. Please just give me extra foundation. Two out of three hundred. Two nine eight out of three hundred. Wait, what? I don't get it. I don't know. I don't get how to do it. Well, this is a bit disappointing. So I need to be building off this, but I need to be building my main house off this. But how, do I, how on earth do I do that? Yeah, I mean, the thing is, I can place this, but then how do I build over here? Because that would give me new build pieces, but over here. But I want to build inside here. That's what I don't understand. But this lets me continue building if I want to. Out in this direction. New house. But it doesn't let me build over there. Am I going to have to take this whole damn thing down and start from scratch? Oh, the pin. Is this my life? This might be my life. Am I really going to do that? <laughs> Wait, I need to do it manually, one piece at a time. Otherwise, I lose stuff. Am I really doing this? Ah! I don't even... Uh, <laughs> Help. Is this what we're doing with my life? But I don't even know if I understand it enough to do it properly. Basically, I need to put the whole foundation again, but not connect it. 
which means I need to bash the whole house down. And then each layer of foundation lay not quite connecting somehow. What bullshit is this? I have to take every single piece manually, one at a time. This is precious stuff. Oh shit, somebody's falling. I don't want it to fall. No, 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 no. Am I doing this wrong? I want to get all my resources back. Please, pretty please. That can't be connected to anything. That can't be connected to anything. That can't be connected to anything. Am I getting that stuff? Please tell me I got that stuff. Gilded lumber, carved lumber, carved stone. I can't believe I'm taking this house down. I need to redo the whole foundation. What if it doesn't work? Then I give up. Like, there's no way I'm building this house a third time in a row. Just make sure I get all this stuff back, please. I really don't want to lose this stuff. This took me forever to craft. Ah, that one might not be getting all of it. Um, start the middle. Make sure you give me all of this stuff back, please. I can't believe I'm doing this. I can't believe I'm doing this. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm doing this. If this doesn't work, I'm not building a house. I give up. Please tell me I could take this stuff down, please. Thank God. I need to pick this stuff up before I lose it all. Slightly surprised I can still walk, which is slightly worrying me. I I go to this one piece at a time because otherwise I don't get all the resources back. I can't believe I'm doing this. I really can't believe I'm doing this. I can't believe I'm doing this. What if this doesn't work? It actually doesn't take that long to build it once I've got the build pieces and once I kind of know what I'm doing. I see any advantage. So I think what I need to do is relay the foundation make them not touch properly and then have lots of separate foundations that each have 300 build piece limits I think yeah. it's good that I'm heavy it's very good that I'm heavy that's promising yeah, let me speak to this come on why can I not interact with you what's going on Game, don't bug out on me now. Please don't bug out on me now. Why can I... Oh my god. Thank god. Let me interact with my box. I've got so much crap in here. All these different types of paints. What is so heavy? I'm still overloaded. What... Ceramic. Beams. Other ceramic, other beams. This is not annoying at all. Can I move? Gilded lumber. Now I can move. I can't believe I'm doing this. I can't believe I keep accidentally taking potions. The potion hotkey is the same as... Doing your building. But well, you don't have your building connected. Taking down the whole house. I can't believe I'm doing this. This doesn't work. I don't know if I like this. Like, what, what is the point of giving you a build limit when it's, let's say it's easy to bypass. Let's just say that. Well then what's the damn point? Oh, 
we pick up all this stuff. Promising, I'm overloaded. That's nice. It's not nice, but it's nice. Where's the heavy stuff? Bamba? Bricks? Ceramic? Beams? Hardwood? Is that everything? This stuff. The thing is, I need to take the whole, whole foundation down. Like, I literally have to redo the whole foundation and see if it works. And then I won't know if it works until we actually get there. Oh god, this is sadness. This I can just move. This is this. This is this. This is this. I can't believe I'm doing this. I can't believe I'm doing this. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm doing this. You only needed to take half, two thirds of the house, not the whole foundation. Well, I haven't even got to the foundation yet. This is the foundation. But I've got foundation on top of foundation to make it this kind of structure. Because in my mind, I have to take down the whole foundation and then replace it, but just not connect it. Row in, row out, row in, row out. And then I'll have, like, loads of build limit. No? I'm going to try that. Carl, he's not listening again. What am I not listening? Like, it's the foundation pieces. These are the foundation pieces. They need to be laid down but not connected. That's that's the point, isn't it? But to do that, I need to get to them. And it's not it's not actually easy to do it. It takes a fiddle. Particularly that portal technique he was talking about. Now, I might be misunderstanding something completely. Okay, Caroline, you better tell me. I mean, it's, it's almost too late now. I've already taken down the house. Done the hard bit. Bricks. Lumber. Shingles. Stone. Stone. Counters. Random bits of paint made out of all God knows different stuff. Is not disorganized cares at all. Right, so it's something I've I've either misunderstood something completely. Work out how much you need in your limit. How am I supposed to know? I don't know what I'm building. I can't work that out. That's not possible. I just want to build until I'm done. So, my plan is to take this all down and then to rebuild it again, but just not connect it. And then just have row of foundation, row of separate foundation, row of separate foundation, row of separate foundation, and then rebuild the whole house. And then I should have... 300 limit there, 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 question mark. Would th that would work, wouldn't it? But I can't do that without relaying the foundation. So I don't know why you keep saying no, or what it is that I'm misunderstanding. It's almost too late. <laughs> I took the house down now. The whole point of me taking the house down was to relay the foundation. And if you're telling me I don't have to relay the foundation, then I just don't understand. Does it say what the... The thing is, it doesn't even say what the build limit is at the moment. Uh, 
it doesn't give me any numbers. Stupid thing. I can't work out how many build pieces I need because I don't know until I've built the damn thing. So what I need is a big build limit. And as far as I understand it, I can get a big build limit if I connect foundation pieces without actually connecting them. So if I just do this exact same foundation, but each row, instead of snapping them, I just almost snap them. And then build the house on top of it. The only problem is, I don't know if the, the house will then, the walls will snap. But until I try it, I don't know. Caroline's gone silent now, so I don't know. I mean, it, it, it's 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 almost too late now. Like, I, I've literally destroyed the whole thing. So I'm just going to finish destroying the whole thing. So let's just finish salvaging the house and start again. Joy of my life. At least we've got the resources now. Vaguely. So it, it will be easy to put it back together. Maybe we'll do it slightly different. I've got to do it one at a time just to get all the resources back. My slight, my biggest concern is, well, one, it doesn't work. My concern is it works, I get the build limit, but because the foundation is not snapped together, it doesn't let me snap together the, the, the building blocks. Like the walls. That is what I'm worried about. Because when it's snapped together, it, it should be easy. I can't believe I'm doing this. But here we are. Should probably do the ceramic one. For oh, I'm actually overloaded. Oh god, I'm properly overloaded. Oh god, what have I done? Wench! I need you! Wench! Stop it! Come back! Oh no, don't pick up stuff. Don't burn stuff that you pick up. Okay, stone. 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 Lamber. Bolts. Gems. Gems. Bullets. I need to keep picking this stuff up. I need to do all the ceramic ones first. The ceramic is the most precious stuff. It took me forever to make the ceramic. Ceramics actually inside. This is the desert foundation. Maybe I should skip one layer of the foundation. I did like these steps going up. It, it felt it made it feel like impressive. But maybe I I can skip one level of the foundation and not have it quite as tall. Let me pick this stuff up before I lose it somehow. God, it's I can't believe I've taken the whole house down. I've taken the whole damn house down. It explains how to snap together to remain separate build pieces. Probably what I need to do is to watch that video properly and absorb all the information. I don't know why this is like this though. Like, why have they got a restriction on it? That's just stupid. Particularly at or this level of restriction. That is then easy to overcome. 
Will I be able to jump back up? I must be able to jump back up. Do I even have room? <sighs> All this stuff crafted that house. I wonder if then I just have the ceramic base and we skip this lumber base. I mean, if this works, it shouldn't make a difference because I'm just going to have enough build limit anyway. And to be fair, like I'd almost done the house. I mean, I'd, I'd have to do a roof and the upper wall still, and then all the the stuff inside, but I think the stuff inside is a separate build limit. I can't believe I'm doing this. I can't believe I'm doing this. Ah! Boxes! I knew I was missing boxes! There's all my bricks! I knew I had... This was buried underneath my house! Oh, God! I knew I made loads of bricks and I couldn't find them. There they are. God, look at his box. It's loaded. Shingles, bricks, gilded wood, even some paint, wood. Damn, sand. Thank God I took down my house. It's worth it for a box of this magnitude. Damn. That's a lot of stuff. Rescued. Elite Gamery. Take down a, a secret buried... Buried box. Worth taking the house down. Definitely worth. Not really. But who, how are we supposed to know? Right, so one question is, do I try and do exactly the same kind of build again? With this double, triple kind of layered foundation. So in my mind, all I need to do is to lay this foundation out again, row by row. But instead of snapping it, just gently place it next to each other. My biggest worry is, when I do that... I won't be able to connect the walls together that go across. So I guess I could test it out and make sure it works before we build the whole thing. Also, all, all these plants have respawned inside the house foundation. That's kind of interesting. Oh, of course I can't carry this crap. Let me put this stuff away before I lose it all. They've just got boxes of random crap out here. Bricks. Lots of bricks. Heavy, heavy stuff. Well... At least we found a box full of bricks and gilded lumber that I knew I had at some point and I just couldn't find. Who knew? I put it in a foundation. It's like a treasure. Buried in my house. Nice. Well, this certainly wasn't a waste of time, was it? Just built this house over like God knows how many episodes of farming resources. I mean, at least I've got all the resources. And extra resources that I didn't know. Although I'm not sure I need those resources. Because I made loads of bricks thinking I'm building this stuff. But then I ended up doing the ceramic one. But I guess I could do the same again. So what I need to do is I need to do a test row of foundation... With a test row of foundation, with a test row of foundation, separately. 
and then work out if I can snap the walls together on top of it or not, or if it's going to be scuppered. But do I need to watch this video properly first, or do we just experiment and try? Let's just get rid of everything else, pick everything else up. Almost done. God, it took so long to take down the house. I didn't think it would take this long, actually. But it did. The good thing is we should have all these build pieces now. It's just going to be very fiddly to actually put it back together again. I feel I should bring a box over here and pick up this stuff, otherwise I'm never going to be able to carry it all. Damn, it's dark. He was able to do that seamlessly. I, I guess it depends how close I managed to put them together. I need to work out, do I need to do this fiddly portal trick that he was doing, or can I just kind of lay it together? Okay, I'm already overloaded. It's slightly awkward that it's night time. Like, I, I can't see. I need to pick up everything. I can't lose any of this stuff. I can't see the thing. Yeah, okay, maybe I should have done that. Rachel, come here, wench. Wench, wench, wench! Come, 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 come. I need to eat. No, that's collecting. Rachel, oh, you... I was about to call her a bitch. But, oh, come on. Come on, wench. Nice. Right, what's heavy? Amber. I think that's okay actually. That's what I needed. Equivalent. Oh yeah, I don't actually nothing goes in there. Equivalent. I don't know why I keep eating good food when I'm around the house. I really need to eat some bad food. I can't afford good food constantly. I haven't got that good a production. Ah, oh, what a disaster. I might do do this re re relay it off stream or something. I need to work out if I'm going to keep streaming this game because th th there isn't that much interest in it and it does feel a little bit silly. Right. How's my paint and stuff going? Oh, I need to go bring some ores. Oh, I've got the pursuit. Let's just get that done as well. Oh, this one's still processing. They just run out of fuel. Damn it. You can get pursuit. Craft. You can get... Matt ingots. Silver. Ingots, silver, craft. Let's leave this in here for now. We'll sort this out later. Oh my god, I got a load of ceramic on me. And that's all the paint we've got. Right, let me just make sure I've picked up everything before I've mess everything up completely. Ceramic. Damn it's heavy. 
Is that everything now? Still something there. Rachel, my sweets. Rachel, come. Damn it, wench. No, no. Oh, yeah. Take the lamber. Oh God, I need to. I need to offload her. Rachel, over here, and you next to the boxes. Come, sweetie. You're back. What did you miss? <laughs> uh, right. Put all the lumber in the box. God, it's so damn heavy. Oh, God. Come on. Come on. Rachel, you're in the way. Lumber. Right, let's just bring these boxes over here so that all the boxes are in the same place and I don't use them. Right. Empty box. Empty box. Everything else has got random crap in it. Ah, empty box. So what about if we all the bricks into one box. Like a god gamer. So why is it not taking the... Oh, because it's got different named bloody bricks. These stupid gim. Bricks are heavy, who knew? Even more bricks. I got brick box. What else? Lamba. Let's make a lamba box. Organizing my chaos. Lamba. And wood. And gilded wood. And carved wood. Wood box. Ah, oh, this stupid thing is separate. Gilded, carved, regular. Now, what else do we have? Stone. I guess all the stone could go in one box. They're going to be stone. I hate this. Why am I doing this? Why am I even organizing this? I don't even know why I'm doing this. But now I've started. Like, what, what can one do? I guess... Oh, we're going to have red stuff all in one box, because that's just annoying me. You. Your red stuff. Which means shingles needs to go elsewhere. Shingles can go with bricks. That makes sense. Kind of. Right. This is going to be stone box. Stone and stew powder. Wait, that's red stuff, isn't it? What am I doing with my life? Why am I doing this? Why am I organizing temporary building stuff? But then I'll know where stuff is when I'm actually building with it. 
Vaguely. Thorns can go with wood. Shingles can go with shingles. Stone is with stone. Stone, 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 stone. Stone. Out stone. Right, this is going to be ingots and metal, I guess. Holes, gilded, this, shingles. Are we almost organized? Almost? Holes. Add it. Don't quite know why I've got ingots here, but I must have needed it for something. Glass as well, we needed for something. Wicks as well, probably. Right, this is going to just be random crap. Random crap box. Whatever. Dumping box for now. Wench! Come back! I want everything. You can have your pickaxe. You can equip it. Red stuff? Nice. Random stuff we need to do separately. Stone? Nice. Gilded wood? Nice. What have I got left? Bullets, food, all that goes home home. Oh my god! I've organized my temporary storage. Kind of. Gold ingots. Tin ingots can go home. Iron ore can go home. This needs to be processed still. There's some spare wood. This needs to go home. As does this. Can I move? I can move. Nice. Let's put this stuff away. Tin. Random ingots. Carved wood. Or gems. Bullets. I'll keep some. That's everything, isn't it? Way too much bad food. Right. Also, for the life of me, I don't know why I'm carrying around watering can this whole damn time. Right, do I have it in me to start laying this foundation and seeing if it works? I could do the testing. Let me just make sure I've picked up everything. I think I still didn't pick up everything. Did it despawn? Oh no, I've picked it up. What did I pick up? Full lumber. That'll do. Do I need to clear this wood out again? I don't know. I guess... I can use the wood at least. So basically, I need to relay the foundation, but not connect every row, and then see if I can build connected walls on top of unconnected foundation. And hopefully, that gives me a huge amount of extra build pieces to be able to build my big base. Which, although it was big, didn't feel like it was that big. I'm slightly surprised the build limit is so obnoxious. Also, slightly surprised it's so e easy to bypass the build limit. In if case, what's the point? Also, not sure I actually need to do this. But given it gives me wood, I might as well take the wood. Also, these sticks and stuff as well, isn't it? Why am I not able to pick this stuff up? Should 
shouldn't... Why is that breaking? It thinks it's my house. Is that normal? Should that be happening? I don't know. Tidying up my damn house. Where I lay a foundation. The funny thing is, all this stuff I think respawns, even though the foundation is there. I don't know if that matters. Am I getting anything from this stuff? Plant fiber, apparently. Get rid of all this crap. Try again. Do I move the house? Thing is, I need a, like, a nice big flat area. Okay, so why do some stumps not chop? Could we locate the house completely? Problem is like these these rocks and everything, they get in the way. That's partly why I elevate the foundation. Okay, this stuff I can't get rid of anyway. What if I were to move it over here? I'd have to build the foundation above this stuff. No Man's Sky update is on the live side. Rock Gen Space Station overhaul. Build standing reward, mission scales. Changes to custom starship building. So how have they done it with the ship? Hunting then. If you can custom, because one of the points was that you find your colourful ships, you don't craft your colourful ships. Do I want to move my house? This terrain is awkward to build on is the problem. But if I start at this high point and then build it here and then build it out, maybe that would be okay. Hmm. This would be covered by the foundation, all these rocks. <coughs> So let's, let's just try and replicate basically what we built. And just see if we can separate the foundations out. So the question is, how do I build this so that it's high? That's what I need. So anyway, I can get it higher. Okay, that was wrong. Damn it. Does it matter which orientation? I wonder if facing the beach. Ooh, I can do it like this. I just want it above the rocks. 
Wait, if I can do this, maybe I don't need to put the Tudor foundation. Let me go straight for a ceramic foundation. Why did I want Tudor foundation? I like the aesthetic. And I could still, I mean, if this works, I could just do the, exactly the same thing and then just have a taller house even. Let's try this first of all. So I, I, I'm not going to build the whole thing. I want to build one row and I want to try and build one row identical next to it, but not connected. And then I want to try and build house next to it. I actually didn't know how long I made it before. So what do I need for this? 42 bricks, 56 lumber. Let's just put some lumber and bricks in a separate box. Bricks. Seriously? Let me just put this in the bricks. Come on. Come on. Right, so this is 14 out of 300 right now. Slight problem, I can't get on it. So now I need to do exactly the same, but not quite connect it. But then how do I do it without connecting it? This is this is how it would if I s snapped it. Like how will I even get it to the same height? This is gonna be so awkward to place. I can't even eyeball it. I can't move it once I. D this is really difficult. What if I were to put two next to each other and then delete one? Would they still count as the same? I also think this is actually putting two foundations, not one. In multiple foundations. This isn't going to work, is it? Connected, but not snapped. But I don't know how to get it connected. Like it's particularly when it's the terrain is like this. Watch this video. Probably a good idea, isn't it? Right, let's go back to his video. Um, did I close it? How to build what I'm calling de-established foundations, where an established foundation would all be one solid piece for a structure. A de-established foundation is when you break up the building cap of 300 to two or more structures. This could be useful for a bunch of things, like keeping your building limit under control so you don't reach the 100 building limit, or for symmetry. As an example, we have this build's towers. I could have them all as separate structures, but then I'd be using five buildings for one large one, where it's a lot more economical to break up the towers and core area and just use two buildings. But again, it's also a lot of what really he's saying, I just don't symmetry. follow as it will keep your buildings on a similar grid, especially if you're using the portal method to line up your foundations. The way this works is when you are placing your foundations, you will lead a trail of foundations from your previous build to a new one, 
carrying the same structure limit over. Then, remove the middle foundations and you have two de-established builds that carry the same building cap. And lastly here, let's take this information and show some practical applications. Firstly, looking at structures that use the whole 300 structure cap. Because in order to work on a larger scale, it's good to understand what the maximum is per individual structure. For example, my Japanese castle, or what's called a shiro, used all 300 building pieces. With this, I was able to make the connected tunnel, crafting rooms, and main hall, as well as the courtyard. Or my tower, which used all its structure pieces for primarily the core of the tower itself. And here is what 300 foundations look like in the game. This is the max area you'll have to work with if you're just building one continuous foundation. So let's take a look at how this desert build is put together. We'll start with the main foundation that is 7 wide and 4 long. We'll then take that foundation and extend it by 1. Place a portal and line things up. and this will serve as our foundation for our towers. We'll then make a 3x3 foundation for the tower and come along the width here by three more foundations. Once we place our fourth, that will serve as the start for our second tower. We'll then delete the middle foundations, making these de-established. Continue on with the 3x3 and now we'll do the same thing that we did in the first place. We'll line foundations along the four long wall then, on our fifth foundation, we'll delete the previous foundations between the towers, build a 3x3, three three, then continue the procedure for the fourth tower. A gateway is building way, in the desert. We have a There's foundation nice flat in the center to build, to build upon, and each of the towers have their own caps. Yet, we still only used two buildings for the whole process. And when you're working with a massive foundation like this one that takes up the entire cap, this winds up as an area of 15x20. If you want to build in an area like this, you'll need to remove foundations and place in new ones to place new buildings. To start, we'll remove a ring of foundations and then an extra three foundations on whatever side we plan on starting from. This is to avoid snapping to your previous foundations. Then we'll place a portal on that central foundation and remove it as well. And then on the side where you remove the extra foundations, you'll lay a new one and that will be the start of your new building. You can then extend this as far as you want as it's aligned to the same grid as the exterior foundation. Just make sure you're snapping to the right foundation by checking its cap as working with a bunch of snapping points can sometimes lead to some confusion. As a final piece of general advice here too, always support your structures. This all leads to building on a much larger scale, so remember that roofs and upper floors need vertical support in the form of pillars and walls. And with that, you are now on your way to uh, building massive structures here in Nightingale. I Nightingale. still don't 100% understand it very well. I mean, basically we need to lay a foundation that's separated. Hmm. He's got it. He's got much flatter terrain to work with, so it was so much easier with flat terrain. Maybe that's why he's building in the bloody desert. How do I do this? So I think it would work if I could somehow line up separate foundations next to each other. And maybe we do that. I just don't know how to do it with this height. I'm standing in the wrong place for starters. Also my dog is getting frisky. 
I think I'm gonna take a break. Take a break, have some lunch. What have I done in this stream? I took my whole house down. Yay. Use the portal, yeah. The problem is like, he was doing it low down on the floor on a flat desert. I've kind of got a wonky terrain, so I'm having to raise the foundation. And then I can't easily get them to align. And then the portal will be down here, not up there. It's going to take a bit of fiddling. How difficult is it for me to move abeyance realms? It's going to be a nightmare, isn't it? Like, to move abeyance realms, I'd have to transfer all my stuff one at a time, one at a time. Because, like, I can't transfer the boxes. No, I can't do that. God, I can't do that. I'll have a fiddle at trying to build this foundation. I might have a playoff stream for a bit, trying to get my head around it. Um, Because you don't need to see me struggling. It will just be torture for me and for you. I mean, the concept seems relatively easy enough. It's just practically doing it with a tool foundation on an uneven terrain is just tricky. And then I also don't know how the, the building pieces snap, so I'll have to play around with it all. I need a break. So I will see you when I see you. Also, I guess I'm going to set No Man's Sky to download. Although when I'll have time to check it out, I don't know, because I also need to... <laughs> my dog just... <laughs> my dog is really trying to nuzzle into me at the moment and she literally just stepped on the table and pressed the keyboard <laughs> made me crouch <laughs> uh, right I'm going to take a break I will see you guys later bit of a disaster stream to be honest I've had to take down my whole house because I've run out of build limit and now we're kind of using some fancy technique to extend the build limit which I may or may not be able to do we'll try and get it done at least Rachel's being a bit obedient right now. Looking over me, dominate, dominating me. Look at that stare. Look at that. Telling me what to do. Down on one knee. And I noticed that I'm the one that's carrying all the stuff. Doing all the hard work. You're just sitting there in your pretty frock. <laughs> Dogs are great, yeah. Right, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. <laughs>